Hi, in today's video, we are going to discuss about how high pressure autoclave reactor works. High pressure autoclave reactor is a conventional device in the chemical industry that has the primary function of performing mixing procedures for chemical reactions in the liquid phase. A pressure reactor is a chemical reaction vessel that carries out a chemical reaction under high pressure and temperature. Researchers can operate the vessel in batch mode at temperatures ranging from 150 Celsius to 500 Celsius. It is manufactured from stainless steel grade 316L, as per the process requirements. The structure of a high-pressure reactor consists of a cylindrical lateral shell with a typical tori spherical ellipsoidal dish at the top ends. The outer side of the reactor has a jacket for heating and cooling. The surface between the shell and the jacket has stiffener rings that provide regular heating or cooling media circulation and increase the vessel's strength. Let's understand design and construction. Autoclave reactors are typically made of high-quality materials such as stainless steel or other alloys that can withstand high pressure and temperature. The reactor is designed to seal tightly to prevent the escape of gases or liquids during the reaction. The substances or reactants involved in the chemical reaction are loaded into the reactor vessel. This can include solids, liquids, or gases depending on the specific reaction. The autoclave reactor is sealed securely to create a closed system. This is crucial for maintaining the desired pressure and preventing the escape of reactants or products. Pressurization system of the reactor are equipped with systems to pressurize the contents within. This is achieved using a pressure source, such as compressed gases or hydraulic systems. The pressure is increased to the level required for the specific chemical reaction. Pressures can range from a few hundred to several thousand psi, pounds per square inch, depending on the application. Autoclave reactors often feature a heating system, such as electrical heaters or jacketed vessels, to control and maintain the reaction temperature. The temperature is raised to the level needed for the reaction to occur. This can range from moderate temperatures to very high temperatures, depending on the nature of the chemical reaction. Once the desired pressure and temperature are reached, the chemical reaction takes place. The high pressure and temperature conditions can enhance reaction rates, alter reaction pathways, or enable the synthesis of specific products that might be challenging under normal conditions. After the reaction is complete, the autoclave reactor may be cooled down gradually to allow for safe handling and extraction of the reaction products. The pressure within the autoclave reactor is safely released, and the reactor is opened. The reaction products are then extracted for further processing or analysis. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe for more informational videos.